voice and sing to earth and heaven ring ring with the harmonies of liberty the uh, significance and the importance of Juneteenth is to recognize when African Americans were actually free um, the proclamation went out in, 19, in 1863, but it wasn't, it didn't get to all of the slaves in Galveston, Texas until 1865. We celebrate um, the freedom that our ancestors fought so hard for us to have. We can't help but be reminded of those words that were sung, the Negro National Anthem, written for Abraham Lincoln's birthday, but used on and on and over and over again to remind our people, to remind our children, to remind the world of what you have done for us. Our history does not start in slavery. Our history starts as kings and queens in Africa. And we keep that royalty with us to this day as we celebrate your goodness to us. The nature told me that I am part of you and you are part of me. When we forgot, she remembered when we were lost, she found us. Mama Nature told me we have more than enough to go around. She showed me a glowing paper birch on the edge of a forest on the south facing slope, endowed to grow twice as big with all of the sunlight it could ever drink. It gets over shade and then shades out the rest, but it doesn't do that. What it does purposely is dispense its sugar throughout the rest of the trees so that they can boast and they can grow. And we have um, immense respect for um, the Tamar community as well, because when you look at our histories, there are, very, there are a lot of similarities. And we know that um, the Tamarans were an oppressed people just as the African-Americans were. So freedom is uh, very vital to both uh, cultures and communities. She showed me that a hollowed out tree, though dead, is still standing. It gives space in life to owls, porcupines, perhaps even chipmunks, because it houses nuts and a way to begin to grow. We are still fighting for complete freedom over 100 years later. But Juneteenth is still worth honoring our ancestors and celebrating how far we've come. In the words of the old folks, I might not be where I want to be, but I sure ain't where I used to be. So today, we want to thank God and we want to celebrate our ancestors, their fight, their achievements. We want to visualize how we will be able to mobilize ourselves, each others, and our future generations until we are completely free. And as we think back to those who waited over a year to know the truth that they were free, we thank you for the gift of being born free. We thank you for the gift of the freedom that you have given us to serve our country, to serve the world, to progress politically and educationally. These are gifts from you. And when we celebrate Juneteenth, we celebrate your faithfulness to each and every one of us. Because we can't let um, everything that our ancestors fought for and our forefathers, we can't let that die. So it's very important that we educate um, our future generations so they can pass on um, the legacy that our ancestors fought so hard for us to have. Facing the rising sun of our new day be God. Let us march on till victory is won.